Marcus Stokey and his 10-year-old son Ever say it caught them completely off guard. A walk they had taken many times before through the North Lake area of Golden Gate Park. But this time, raccoon after raccoon, 14 by their count, came marching out of the bushes very close to them and their dog, Zeus. I was a little bit scared because I've never seen anything like them before. We were both a little shocked. And then seconds later in the bushes... We got like 20 feet away and, and Ever said, Dad, look, a coyote. So yeah. it was just, yeah, let's, you know, not your typical walk in Golden Gate Park. The National Park Service posted signs warning of coyote sightings in the park months ago, but it wasn't the canine that had Mark and Ever concerned. It seemed like the coyote was avoiding the, the raccoon family. Like, like the raccoons were running the roost. And Some people seem to be ignoring many other signs also telling them not to feed the raccoons. A professor with San Francisco City College who specializes in these urban wildlife issues says these raccoons are likely just becoming too accustomed to humans. It's not unusual for the animals to gather in families or packs and start begging for food, and they may get aggressive as they search. The Astokis say they'll follow the signs and keep their distance. I think we're going to be a little cautious going yeah. down there again. And a stern warning from City College biology professor Matthew Schweitzer that should hit home during this pandemic. He says a sick raccoon can pass on rabies or another infectious disease if you get too close. So stay away. In San Francisco, Tom Jensen, NBC Bay Area News.